is the United States making worse music than everybody else in the world? I want y'all to watch this clip and tell me what you think. Definitive thing that makes you a star, in my opinion, or I think so, is a song. That I'm making songs that are going to cross them over and make them who they're supposed to be. I feel like, okay, cool, we like their vibe, we like their mixtape, we like the album. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's some, it's some hints of greatness in there. But when you talk about stars, like when 50 Cent put out um, In the Club, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Smash, yeah, yeah, right? Like... You just need those songs, and the songs have to be produced and made. If we isolate Central C, he's not American. No, but he's probably a star already in London. Oh, he, he's a right? uh, so superstar. Saying, so what you're saying is happening, it just doesn't seem to be happening domestically right now. Mm. Because we're making the worst music. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> Justice is back. <laughs> oh, we are. The United States is making the worst music. Jacory, do you think the United States is making the worst music? The worst? The worst music. I don't know if I can say the worst, man, because, I mean, I don't want to single any particular region of the world out, you know, <laughs> um, and, and attack anybody's quality oh, of music, on, but... Man. Attack, no, I mean, attack. Man, I'm not, I'm not super deep. Like, the only countries I super pay attention, where well, I super pay attention to the music industry is, like, you know, us, of course, Latin, Latin American countries, you know, a couple, like, South African countries, like, in the Afro world. But that ties into my music type, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not looking at let's say like Russia's music scene for example because what I've typically heard from there in the past is ain't, ain't my cup of tea. Maybe they got something along my my line or my lane that would change my mind but from what usually makes it out of there what represents them. It's like that's not really my thing. All right? But the worst music bro? No. We, we, I, I can't say that because it's, it's still too many other countries that emulate like our music style. You know okay. Okay. But you can emulate and improve. You're right. That's true. All right. That's true. I'll say this. Latin America, United States, Korea, Tokyo, and then a, a few countries in Europe I listen to. And I feel like in other countries, there seems to be almost a retro approach to the music and I mean a retro United States like you say yeah like we're still leading a lot of the culture in that way but you know how a lot of people say oh it's not like it used to be and they act like what it used to be was better yeah especially like let's just look at k-pop let's sit, center on k-pop the investment into the music videos and what they have at the top and they're really showing is it's like 90s in terms of music yeah. video investment, yeah. dance routines, all that stuff going on. Yeah. And I remember from the very moment I like found out about it, my homegirl, uh, Polina, she put me on to K-pop in maybe 2012, 11. And I was just like, bro, this is, I can't understand a thing, but I resonated with a lot of it because it just, it just felt like what maybe early 2000s. Uh, what was popular over here a lot of it like you can see them emulating or whatever so there's some argument in in terms of maybe that the approach to artistry and the approach to artistry without the vira virality that we need in america because america is very the shit that we talk about right it's very much so focused on these narratives, marketing, yeah. going viral, trying to stand out and get attention for the sake of attention in hopes to flip it back to your music, right? So I can argue that that environment probably doesn't foster the best music as an environment that's still more music driven first with, of course, the bells and whistle because it's still entertainment just like it used to be, but it's not really caught up in this, let me go smash a TV right to get some attention let me go uh drive through the mall on a motorcycle to get some attention the shit sam sent us the other day what's uh that group name things or i don't remember the name. i forgot his name or whatever and i don't think anything wrong with that i thought like the way they put it together is dope but we're in a space in america where we have to do shit like that a lot of times to get attention which sucks yeah i mean i think because i think our thing as a country is cheap entertainment you know what I'm saying? Like, how can we how can we strike the biggest flame with the least amount of matches, pretty much, right? In terms of yeah. production quality, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We see it in the music. You know, we've seen hit songs come out that were made in closets. Yeah, 
I'm saying the back of vans and shit like that. But then even um, on like TV, man, you see like networks like Netflix and Hulu and stuff. Always trying to figure out, right, how can we get this hit TV show with the smallest budget possible? We had to come with right. about Tyler Perry, but it was Tyler Perry's whole form. Like, how can I get the most amount of hit movies hey. for the least amount of money spent as possible? So, yeah, I do think I, I, I couldn't say, like, why. A part of me wants to say it's probably because we're such a capitalistic, you know what I'm saying, capitalism-based country. That's part of it. Probably. Yeah, probably. Honestly, that probably is, that probably is exactly what it is. So I, I do think we're starting to, like, notice that seeping into the music. But I still don't think that makes us the worst. That's what I'm saying, bro, the worst. I can't I can't worst. boldly say the worst and con- – well, I could boldly say it. I could say anything bold. But I can't confidently <laughs> and fully, authentically, and truthfully say it's the worst yeah. and mean it because I don't listen to every single country or every type of music. But what I can say is the environment today – does not necessarily lean towards the most positive environment yeah, to yeah. foster good music. But like we the country that made like reality TV. I don't know if we made it popular, but I feel like I don't feel like any other country that had a reality TV run like the US has had, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you think about a lot of Do you know why? Why? I mean you started to talk about it. Oh yeah. Oh, the capital, the capital. capitalism. That shit yeah. cheap. Yeah. We don't gotta have no real actors. Yeah. People who spend time and build a craft, they want more money. Yeah. So we gonna have some regular people. We can flip this attention you've already built in something else. Flip this, market it as an op, so you get paid a little bit, but you can flip it into your branding, and we can churn these out like clockwork. Yeah. So I was like, bro, you have this whole generation of artists that grew up on like that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That, and then you introduce the internet and memes and things like that. Like reality yeah. TV and memes go hand in hand, but they're both cheap forms of, of mass <laughs> entertainment. Right? Guilty pleasure content. And and the guilty pleasure is not supposed to be your main pleasure. That's the problem. I mean, but why should it work You know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm just saying. I think a lot of the things that I think other people are complaining about with music was started by rappers. But with rappers, it makes sense, I think. You know what I'm saying? Because like rap, we're typically used to being like, it's, not lower you said quality. We? You said we? No, you said rappers we're used to. You still got some hidden tracks? No, 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 no. No, I'm saying like, <laughs> I think. Oh, I get what you're saying. You're saying. <laughs> <laughs> you're hilarious. No. But it's just, I, I'm saying like, like we as our music. Nah, nah, like, nah. We'll be like, all oh, these cheapening of things sometimes. I think it's yeah. tied back to what we typically see rappers do. But like rappers are still not being competed with when it comes to like that type of like social manipulation and forms like memes and like cheap comedy stuff. Yeah. So, but I think a lot of that thing, a lot of that makes sense for the genre because that genre typically requires, you know, not not a lot of work, but like less work in, in some instances compared to like other types of music. Um, rap has typically been super appealing to people that come from like lower income areas. So these are people who don't have any money, right? How do they figure out how to, you know, you will, Artists in the back fucking nowhere with no money, you trying to get lit. Like, what you gonna do? What's gonna get you attention? Oh man, if I do some stupid shit, you know what I'm saying? Let's not even let's just take it away from stupid shit. Let's not let's not imagine the world. Let's just say like something be stupid, yeah. Yeah, let's just say something that's meant that's I did on my phone that was meant to grab a lot of attention. Yeah, I'm saying let's keep it at that. Yep, good, bad, however you want to feel about it. Then that's what I'm gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna lean more into that because I'm going to feel like. Yo, when I put my investment into this thing, I put all these hours into this thing over here, which we can say is the music quality. Yep. It doesn't necessarily give me the return I want to see, but I go put half of that time into figuring this thing out, this attention thing. Yeah. And everything I want starts to happen, right? People hit me up, and we have fans, and we have listeners. So you, you can't, you can't knock the way that people have been trained to think about how they should put their stuff I'm up. not knocking it. I'm just observing it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me take a quick second to say, if you're an artist trying to blow your music up, or if you're a manager, a music professional in general, trying to help an artist blow their music up, I have something that's a game changer for you, and it's completely free. As you may know, we've helped multiple artists go from zero to hundreds of thousands of streams. We've helped multiple artists go from hundreds of thousands to millions of streams, chart on Billboard, go viral, all of that stuff. And we've now made the way we've branded multiple artists and helped them go viral completely free, step by step in Brandman Network. All you have to do is check out brandmannetwork.com. You apply. It's completely free. But the thing is, we're not going to let everybody in forever. So 
the faster you apply, the better your chance of getting accepted. Brandmannetwork.com. Check it out. Back to the video. At the end of the day, it's been interesting to see that not only have we not be, not only do we not lead culture as much as we used to, mm -hmm. we copy culture, mm -hmm. right? I remember when anime start seeping into all of our shit, all right? Now it's a huge driver, yeah. right? Before it was this type of content that we experienced that was foreign, right? Yeah. But from that, it actually was like a virus. It's like, oh man, we gonna give them some of this sauce and eventually the future generations, yeah, they gonna love that shit, <laughs> they gonna love they that love shit right? Yeah. We, we forming and we taking over the whole country one kid at a time. And now our stuff, a lot of our stuff is inspired by anime, right? Whatever, and then the entire I don't want to say tired Japanese experience, but so many of the things that were originated in Japan, right? Um, like fashion, right? So even beyond anime, because they hit us from those two directions, right? Yeah. And was, like, even the Harajuku girls, even though that became a whole polarizing thing at yeah. one point yeah. or whatever. Um, if even recently, apparently, when Sefani said that she was Japanese and and it became a thing, right for real? Yeah, she said she was Japanese. Ah, I don't want to get too far into it. But it was just one of those things getting too comfortable. You know, they come into the house, eat all the food, and then, you know, all of a sudden they think you want it. Want it. Yeah. They know they feed up on your Yeah, yeah. Feed up. It was just one of those things. She really didn't mean nothing by, like bad by it, but she may have messed up, you know. Um, <laughs> she thought she was so one with the culture. She just said, I'm Japanese. That's really what she was coming okay, from. Okay. Yeah, that's where she was coming from, but... And, you know, the internet and people sensitive these days to that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> like, but with that same concept, though, bro, like, I, I, I think it's hard to fight the idea that music, specifically music for the sake of music, it is not what it used to be in terms of the nuances, in terms of quality. And I think other spaces are behind and because they're behind, they might, there might be more attention to music. But I think they're going to end up where we are. I don't think they're like guarding it, yeah. right? And saying we want to stay here. They're just behind. That's all it is. Yeah, they're paying attention to it. And then in some countries, bro, be so many interesting things going on with the music industry. You know, like some countries' government has been involved to yes, higher degrees. Exactly. You know what I'm saying like some countries' corporations being involved mm -hmm. to higher degrees, right? Higher or lesser degrees. So it's so many different variables yes. that goes into things like that. But yeah, because they're all going to eventually look and go like, oh, America has figured out this whole like cheap attention shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want in on that. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey, K-pop artists, I need y'all to start making some viral videos. You know what I'm saying? I need y'all to you know, make some memes and things like that. So I think the influence is going to hit. But now I do kind of maybe want to backtrack a little bit because as you were talking, I was trying to run through my head like who's a who's kind of like dominating right now, and like a lot of the artists are like foreign artists, bro. You know, foreign to us in the states. Central yep. C, Tams, uh, you know, Bad Bunny. You know what I'm saying? Um, who I feel like I'm missing. Somebody. Yes, because okay. oh, we actually missed the that part of the conversation because they did say superstars. Yeah, superstar. Yeah, are we producing new superstars? Like who? New because I think our current superstars are still the old ones, right? Like the Taylor Swift, the Beyonce's, the Justin Bieber's. Um, Justin Bieber, yeah, no, he old, oh, but he even counts. Oh, oh, damn, we can't even fully claim Justin, exactly. Hey, but I mean, but he, you know, he was in Atlanta with us, yeah, yeah, he, count. yeah he counts. We so, but yeah, I can't think of like who's the most recent new superstar that the U.S. has produced. Party me. So then Lil Nas X next. Lil Nas X probably after Cardi B. Well, I guess, is Lil Nas X a superstar? We, I, I would consider Lil Nas X a superstar. I think. So then maybe, I don't know, because I maybe that, I wonder how we judge it. Like, are we talking about worldwide? I don't know what his reach is, because I know his streams, yeah. right, are like superstar streams, and the demographic that he has a hold on is like superstar-like, mm -hmm. but I don't know. Cause I, cause I really say Cardi B, but I don't say it with full confidence. Cause I think Cardi B's, she should be like superstar level yeah, technically, so. yeah. right? But then when you mentioned Beyonce, right, that's a different level, yeah, right. Yeah. So 
but then, you know, at Central C is too new to like fully put him there. But I think, well, I don't know how big he is. And I, of course, UK, you know, he's big, yeah. but I don't truly have a full sense of his level. Bad Bunny, I got a sense of his level like, oh, he's pretty much on Beyonce's level. Don't kill me. You know, I mean, <laughs> folks who, who feel a certain way. I'm just talking about sheerly in terms of numbers. He's early on, so he has a lot to do. But he's going to be on that trajectory where 10, 20 years from now, he still will have a, a strong, resounding impact, yeah. right? Yeah. And it's on a lot of people that are outside that primary demographic. So when I try to separate and even say Cardi B. Doja Cat, maybe? No, I don't know. Yeah, we I can't know. give it to Cardi B. Could we give it to Doja Cat? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, we know their personalities can definitely yeah. transcend. I think they have the talent to. Um, and even Do- Doja Cat, like the more stereotypical markability attached to her. But <clears throat> I don't know, man. Like, I don't know, he might be right. That's what I'm saying. I can't think of nobody. I'm trying, bro. Like, y'all leave somebody in the comments. I'm trying. Who's the last superstar? Because, all right, how do we defy a superstar? One thing that I think would go with the term superstar is when you have so many people outside of the primary demographic that know the person. Yeah. All right. You've reached the top of your niche, broken past that niche, and now you're in pop. But then beyond pop, right? Not just successful pop, but you're beyond pop and you're transcending like that popular culture where grandma all the way down to the kid knows them, your country and other countries like know this person. That's a a different space. Well, I guess what could also change the argument a little bit is just as we're talking about song, not necessarily like personality, right? Like brand. And that's, yes. Yeah. So that does kind of make it harder. That does kind of move the goal a little bit. Because then it's like, what's the last massive song to come from what? Steve Lacey, maybe? Like the that song? The, you know, shine. See, now, I mean, we just stick straight to music, which, look, this is music, so it, 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 it doesn't hurt to just say, because I don't even consider that by moving in bold goalposts, right? Because we're talking about music at the core. We're talking about artists. 30 million, so Bad Habit has but, and what 611 makes me million streams. I was like, what makes me say that is because Justice specifically mentioned Central C is like a London UK, a London artist, but then to your point, it's like, yeah, he's big, but he's not like Beyonce, right? Like, right. That, that different level. So now this is like, okay, if we're keeping it just music like this, but he's going to get there. I think he's going to get there, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, you're gonna be solid. He doesn't have as many monthly listeners as Steve Lacey right now. Oh, bro. enough. Yeah, he, he's about a million less, but Central C is a lot hotter, mm-hmm. obviously, from a commercial standpoint. Mm-hmm. That's the weird thing because Superstar, Superstar is not a solely music thing. I know that he said we got to have the music, and of course, but you, Superstar is a combination of the music with. The personality or aura and all of that stuff. Like, there's been people who was the there's this guy named Nick Kyrgios. He plays tennis, right? This dude, if he well, he actually has the talent to be like number one in the world, but he has like just other issues, anger issues, and things like that. But even tennis player, yeah, but it's oh, he's interesting. He he's hard, but he's, he's like he got like a hip hop. Like basketball swagger, but he plays tennis. It's, it, it, it's, it's interesting. Um, and he'll take these long breaks. Like, literally, his thing is like, oh, yeah, I play tennis like three months out the year. While, wow. you know, the opposite is like Kobe mentality. I always practice, and that's what most people are doing. So he's not ranked where he should. But the point is, even if he just stay consistent, his brand, if you watch him uh, next to the other players, he could be a superstar. Just You just see it. He has that it factor. Right. Um, So you don't even have to be the best. Right. Which I think about music. You don't have to be the best to be the biggest superstar. People always get mad. Oh, this person isn't even as good as that person. Well, that's when they go and get into that it factor lane. Like this person doesn't sing as good. There's other factors into creating superstar. You know, it's building a player and there's multiple rankings. Right. What is your your vocal talent, what is your talent for hearing production, your song selection, your personality, your 
I don't know, right? There's there's multiple levels to, uh, to, uh, or multiple things to gauge. I don't know all of them. Maybe we should build a superstar one day and figure out what all those gauges were. That would be hard. You know what I mean? Hey, some of y'all make our lives easier. If y'all got time, put it in the comments and we can maybe argue about <laughs> which y'all think makes a, a superstar. What are all those gauges to consider? But but it's not it's not fully a music conversation, but of course he does go back to music. So to me, it's, it's technically inconclusive, but I do go back to the argument that America right now, actually, uh, I'll say that later. The United States right now does not have an environment that fosters the best of music. A lot of creativity in general, but the best music that it can specifically. Now, why I paused for a second was because I said America and I realized, man, I say America a lot, but that's like that entitled, like better than American mentality, <laughs> United States mentality, because it's like, hey, it's. Central American, American bro. Bro. <laughs> Canada's in North America. I'm gonna get you on the comments, bro. I want to say, <laughs> just say the United States. <laughs> just say the United States. Let me add your life. <laughs> yeah, man, it's stressful over here, man. I don't know. I don't know how the artists over here doing it. Hey, nah, nah, it is. It's it's different, man. It's definitely different. But with that being said, man, 